Hello everyone, my name is Malcolm Dos Santos and this is News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With COVID-19 still looming around, it's spreading faster, not slower. Here's Cooper Ignatian with more details. I'm Cooper Ignatian with Canyons News. COVID-19 is spreading more than ever in the U.S. with the highest one-week average of new cases. The situation is worse for many states. Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio, and Texas have reported that most of their intensive care units are at full capacity. Along with that, the average amount of American deaths per day has hit almost 800. Pfizer plans to administer a vaccine in November. Cooper Ignatian with Canyons News. A nonprofit organization announced initiative to help steady homeless people aim at the end of Project Ronkey in LA County. With the LA County Project Bronchi come close to an end, the organization Bridge to Home announced last Thursday a new initiative to house more than 20 local homeless individuals. Bridge to Home took action by leading the Project Bronchi effort to shelter the most medically challenged and vulnerable people experiencing homelessness in Santa Clarita Valley. And now, Project 30 pledges to house 30 homeless people by January 5th and is expected to offer case management and resource support with very low staffing to resident ratio, ensuring strong wraparound support. The announcement comes as the Super 8 is expected to shut down operation on January 5th. The motto has housed part of the local homeless population since April. And for Kenyans News, I am Malcolm Dos Santos. A new jam session platform was created online, where people come together to sing and play their instruments. Here's Cheryl Penny with more details. The virtual jam session led by Karen Jimenez is an opportunity for music lovers to come together and to sing and play their instruments. Singing is one of the um, major ways that COVID can be transmitted and there's really no safe way to sing together in person anymore. So we started the virtual jam session. And how it works? We, uh, take turns singing songs, leading songs. What a variety of instruments. Most people bring a guitar, but there's some ukuleles, there's some mandolins. To join sessions, go to highswear.com. For Kenya News, I'm Shrat Penny. Voters can now make their voice heard at College of the Kenyans with safe and secure voting. Here's Diego Serrano with more details. College of the Canyons has recently opened a voting center in the East Gymnasium at the Valencia campus for this year's general election. Voters can now safely vote in person or drop off their mail-in ballot to one of the workers. Social distancing and mask wearing is still being implemented to slow the spread of COVID-19. The voting center will be open to voters now through Election Day, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. through November 2nd, and 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Election Day, November 3rd. I'm Diego Serrano for Canyons News. And this is it for your News Micro. Make sure to watch all the other News Micro on YouTube, and you can also follow us on your Facebook page or Twitter. Thank you, and good night.